Hey, happy day. It is July. It's a beautiful day. It's been beautiful every day. It's summertime. You're all supposed to be out having fun, right? All the left-wing wackles, they should take time off. Take July off. Maybe August as well. In fact, why don't you go away forever, but in particular, enjoy the sunshine. Leave us alone, but they don't. They keep on being themselves, so we got to keep on giving a little bit of pushback, don't you know? 16, 16 members of Congress arrested, were arrested during the abortion protest recently near the Supreme Court in the U.S. of A. And these crazy people, this one Omar, I think it's a woman, Omar, yes, of course it is. She remained defiant and she said, hey, I was arrested while participating in this civil disobedience action with my fellow members of Congress, Congress, <laughs> Congress, <laughs> whatever, Oh, law-abiding people, hey, they, they're our lawmakers. Have you got that? They didn't agree with the decisions that the court made, and so they're out doing this protest stuff, right? I don't think you're supposed to do that. I, do we do that? If you don't agree with something, I mean, hey, we don't agree with something, we're upset, we're unhappy, but then we work hard to change it, whereas these people, their change is somewhat different than what we do. I will continue back to her, to do everything in my power to raise the alarm about the assault on our reproductive rights. Ah, reproductive rights mean having more people like her than we don't want any. Ah, we don't want any more of these left-wing wax around. President Biden, his approval rating now has dropped to the lowest ever, a new old-time low is 31%. 71, hey, they didn't ask me because had they asked me, the number would have even been lower. Don't you know? 71% of all Americans say that, hey, we do not want him to run again in 2024. Please do not. 71%. Now, 69% of all Republicans want to see Trump run again. They want to see him as being the GOP nominee. Interesting kind of numbers, don't you know? Now let's rush over to Canada. Rush, rush. Yeah. No matter where you are in the world, pay attention, watch, listen, because this is craziness. You have a guy running the country. He's called the prime minister. I call him the prime mistake because I really think that's what he is. But the guy has power. It's unbelievable. It's like the king of England way back when in the 1400s, maybe. Whatever he says goes. Nobody stands up to him. It's incredible. He has totally changed the face of the nation. It is no longer a capitalist system. It's. it's I don't even think it's socialist. I don't know what it is, but uh, Hitler would be proud of all of this, but it's wild. But in addition to all of that stuff, this guy is a racist. He, he, racism is a bad thing. It's a terrible thing. And, and uh, he calls everyone else a racist. Those who call others are usually themselves. That's biblical and even Shakespearean. And he's at the top of the list for that. Here's something he said years ago. The very concept of a nation founded by European settlers is offensive to me. Old stock white Canadians are an unpleasant relic and quite frankly replaceable and we will replace them. What a statement. I, I hate a color. I dislike you because of your color. And this is coming from a white guy, right? I, does it matter? Of course it doesn't. Who cares what color you are? We're all humanoids. Leave us alone and quit doing this. But he won't. He's got so many restrictions for white people. I mean, you can't get in the army unless you, you know, they got quotas, right? Hiring quotas, everything is quoted by, good word, by your color. They put this color system into place. His ministers, everyone around him, they're not white because he dislikes white people. He's white. I guess the guy doesn't have a mirror. Probably a good thing, but it's kind of wild. Recently, he said this. He said, non-whites who are perceived as white are guilty of white privilege. I don't even know what that means. Do you? I mean, that's the stupidest thing. He says, white privilege benefit are people that benefit from unearned power, advantages, access and our opportunities based on being white or being perceived as white. So now <laughs> if you're a black man and, and uh, you're doing well, I, I guess you're white. I guess you're a bigot too. What's going on here? All these special interest groups and everything else. This guy is dangerous because he makes no sense, but he keeps on talking. I mean, there are 38 million people in Canada. That's a Two million increase just in the last year alone. And guess what? They're virtually all people of color. Since the prime mistake came into power, it's estimated that white Canadians went from 95 to 80 percent. And this time next year, it's uh, projected to be 60 to 65 percent of Canadians who will remain white, <laughs> and then 50 and then 40. Hey, white folk, what do you think about that? I mean, and then there's some mayors in different cities. They buy into this. They drink in the Trudeau Kool-Aid or whatever it is, and they say, my town is too white. So they go to countries with people of color, and they bring them here. Taxpayers, of course, the white people pay for that. And they bring them in because they want to mix it up a little bit. 
their God? <laughs> That's a big question, Mark. I, I mean, who cares what color you are? I can't say it enough. But people need to have the freedom of movement. If I want to move beside a black family, that's my right. And as long as I buy the plane ticket and I move to that city, whereas Trudeau and his gang of goofs, what they say is, is we're going to pay for that, you guys are, and we want to mix it all up. And, and it's not their business. They shouldn't be like this, but they are. I mean, the good thing is, is we can't understand them, right? But they're bigots and I hate bigotry. I mean, you should not be judged in your color. You should not be able to get a job because of your color and you shouldn't get paid uh, more because of your color. And you certainly shouldn't have, um, I don't know, but I'm thinking about firemen now, and I think it's in Vancouver. If you're not white, you're, you know, you're, you have to write an exam and your percentages are here, whereas if you're white, they're here. That's insulting to the people of color. This color thing, what is going on? I mean, is it as clear as black and white? I don't think so. It comes down to liberalism and leftism and stupidism, and I repeat myself. We've got to get rid of these people because no one can understand them. And again, I, I repeat. That's the best thing that we can take away from this is we can't understand them. But the best thing, the second really best thing, first best thing is we have to get rid of them because they're a problem to our, uh, to the way we live or the way we'd like to live. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.